finally, uh, we get to LC circuits. We do not have to do our LC circuits, but we have to do LC circuits. This is an LC circuit. It's got an inductor and a capacitor. This is just like a spring mass system. It's just like it. Now, an inductor acts just like a mass. And its current is just like velocity. Guess what a capacitor acts just like? Right. A spring. Question to you. Is a capacitor, uh, if it's got charges pushed onto it, is that more like a compressed spring or an uncompressed spring? Compressed. It's like a compressed spring. So when a capacitor has charge on it, it's like a compressed spring. Now, when the charges are reversed, like it's the other, other polarity, it's like a stretch spring. Let's see how this works. So what we got to start with is this situation here. We've got a capacitor that is completely charged at time equals zero. There is an electric field in here. All of our energy is stored in the electric field. And here is the, uh, the energy stored. Uh, it is one half Q squared max over C. It's all stored in the capacitor in the electric field. That is like having a spring totally stretched out with our mass doing what? At rest. So none of our energy for our spring mass system is stored in kinetic energy. It's stored in elastic potential energy. But all of, in our LC circuit, it's all stored in the capacitor. Then what happens is, uh, by closing a switch or just letting this go, the charge will start to move. And at some point, it will hit a maximum value. Why doesn't it hit a maximum value instantly? Why doesn't the current, as soon as you close that switch or as soon as you connect your capacitor, why does it not hit a maximum value instantly? Because there is a back EMF. This inductor right here is fighting the current. Change. And it will succeed for that first instant, and it gets less and less successful until you get I max. Once you have I max, that happens when the charge is zero here. All of the energy is stored in the magnetic field. It's analogous to this situation where all the energy is stored in what form right here, over here, when we are at V max. That's kinetic energy. That's just like all of our energy stored in the magnetic field. Here our energy is 1 half Li squared, all of it stored in the inductor. What ha happens there is it'll keep that current going until our capacitor gets recharged, but it's recharged. How is this different than how it was charged before? Opposite polarity. It's again stored in the electric field, but this time our spring is compressed instead of stretched out. Again, no velocity. All of our energy is stored in the capacitor, and then in some amount of time, it will go back like this. It'll just uh, discharge again. The current will go backwards and it'll go all be stored in the magnetic field again. Now, uh, total energy is equal to this. I'll write this. I wrote it on the side here. The total energy of our LC circuit is simply this. U total is equal to 1 half Q squared over C plus 1 half I or L times I squared. So that is our total energy of our LC circuits. What's really cool is this. It has a resonance frequency. 